Okay, well after my success with this uh, bladed electrostatic motor running off of the Wimshurst, my little homemade Wimshurst, I decided to build a, a larger motor with bearings, uh, ceramic ball bearings, and uh, one of these uh, Oleg Jeferminko type of designs, which is what later Saber has uh, shown in his videos. And mine's rather crude, but it did work. And uh, I wanted to check out right away if it had any torque. So I did a torque experiment this morning, very, very simple, just a string with paper clip weights. And uh, it's just a small amount of mass, but what I'm going to show here is I'm going to let that hang down here, and I'm going to wind it up with that motor, and then let gravity unwind it. And that's a demonstration of torque. And these blades working on that rotor develop the torque, which is what I wanted to look at. And uh, like I say, I, I also put the real ball bearings on it and uh, these are ceramic ball bearings um, rather expensive but you need them you cannot do this uh, type of work without um, fairly good tolerances on everything and mine is just at the edge of working you really need uh, to make this type of motor uh, more precise uh, the tolerances between the blades and the rotor the um, trueness of the rotor, the bearings, the whole thing uh, for it to work correctly needs to be rather precision, but uh, I'm going to run the Winshurst machine and then uh, this is going to wind up this string and I'll put the camera down here so you can see it happen. I'll just let the string dangle down there and put the camera right here so you can see the motor and I'll start working on the Wimshurst here, and you'll hear it running. And there goes the motor. And the motor is winding up the string on that little spindle. And that's an example of work being done. I'm lifting a mass. And this is how you could calculate. You could weigh that mass and do the mathematic calculations on how much work this little motor is actually doing. Okay, now I'm going to let gravity just pull that on down again. And this is an example of how you would test one of these rather inefficient motors uh, ability to do work. And uh, this could be calculated. You could actually do the calculations on this. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this uh, bladed electrostatic motor. And uh, the work goes on. It needs more blades. It needs to be more precise. Thanks for watching.